Over two years ago, one of the most unique Pokemon games of all time was released, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And now with the next Legends game officially announced for 2025, I think it's time we take a trip back to where it all started. I'm about to lock myself to every region, and I can't leave until I find a shiny Pokemon in every one, all without using any outbreaks to boost my odds. But there's a catch. I have to do it faster than my two shiny hunter friends working together to beat me. And this challenge can't end unless we catch one of the rarest things in the entire game, a shiny alpha Pokemon. And it all starts in the Obsidian Fieldlands. The first and most simple region of Legends Arceus filled with a lot of classic Pokemon and also some Pokemon that I am traumatized seeing. Not because the first video I ever posted onto YouTube was me failing the shiny or anything, that's, that's definitely not the reason. I don't miss him or anything if that's what you think. <laughs> that little idiot. Anyway, like I said, this challenge is purely random overworld shinies. So obviously that lowers my chances down quite a bit and will probably end up causing me to spend at least a few hours hunting for my first shiny. Never mind, ignore everything I just said. <laughs> I got something. No, you no didn't. Way. I don't know how to get down. I don't know how to play this game. Okay. Let's just say this guy's got some nice hair. Some nice some hair? Nice hair? Bidoof? A nine minute shiny Bidoof, Shellos. And I was just barely remembering the controls for the game again. I got him! Oh, Zangoose? No. Young Goose. Thanks to this Shellos, I am now up 1-0 against my hopelessly confused competition, Tos and Mimic. And yes, I am actually competing against both of them in this challenge, meaning only one of them needs to find a shiny for them to both move on. But why? I mean, isn't that totally unfair? Well, not exactly, because neither Tos nor Mimic have the shiny charm in this game, but I do. And even though I would, I can't disable it to make it harder. So it got me thinking, how strong is the shiny charm in a race like this? Could I actually beat two people at once? I was curious, but I figured to make it as hard as possible for me, I gave them access to every shiny hunting method in the game and told them to just send it. But the one special rule stands. One of the shinies we find today has to be a shiny alpha Pokemon, or else you can't win. And if you guys know anything about shiny alphas in this game, well, they're pretty rare. And if you're hunting like me with no outbreaks, then uh, they're really rare. And there's typically only a few spawns in each region to even check. It's pretty slow. So yeah, this shiny Shellos is kind of a godsend for me in this race. I needed all of the early advantages I could get. And knowing Toast and Mimic, they are definitely aiming for revenge today for all the crazy shiny quizzes I have put them through. If you know, you know. My second region is the Crimson Mirelands, probably my least favorite region if I'm being honest, but there are still some sleeper Pokemon here that getting a shiny of would be really, really cool. I started routing around and tracking as many alphas as I could find, like starting near this Raichu by the entrance and then flying all the way up and over to the Spiritomb area where the alpha Licky Licky is. This Licky Licky, by the way, is one of the few random shiny alphas I've ever gotten in this game, and I wouldn't be mad if I got another one here, don't get me wrong, it's a race, but I will say I think I'm okay with my current situation as it is. About 30 minutes in, I realized why I missed this game so much. The fact that you can hear the shinies and fly over everything so peacefully, it really is a stark difference from Scarlet and Violet, where you need to make sure you're paying maximum attention to see a shiny. There were actually times in this hunt where I could literally just stand up and go AFK and just hold forward on my controller and listen for a shiny noise in my headset. It unironically works. I really do love games that let you just sit back and relax, and this video's sponsor, AFK Journey, is exactly that. A brand new game that's not just an idle game, but an ethereal fantasy fantasy RPG where you play as Merlin, gathering heroes across six different factions and building teams to create the ultimate winning strategy in combat. In AFK Journey, you can explore diverse maps, solve really fun puzzles, and meet a ton of interesting NPCs, all with super low effort, one-handed gameplay. That's cozy. All I'm saying is if you're a shiny hunter, you know these types of games are the perfect games to play while passing time on those long shiny hunts. And when I saw the trailer for this game, the first thing that stuck out to me was its art style. I mean, it just feels cozy. I'm a fan. There's unique character customization systems and a bunch of social features too that allow you to experience a lot of different side gameplay activities as well. AFK Journey is now available on both PC and mobile for free, and during the official release, which is right now by the way, they are giving away over 40 heroes for free, and you'll earn over 200 free pulls just by progressing through the game. Make sure to use my code on the screen and get a ton of free extra rewards when you log in, and check the link in the description to get started for free today. 
Thank you, AFK Journey, for sponsoring. Your game looks really cool, but it's time to get back to the hunt. 50 minutes in, and it looks like we're settling in. Still no shinies found from the side of Toast and Mimic. That is, until... Oh! I found another one. <laughs> no. No. no, you did not get another one. Yes, it's the Booger no. Boy. Carnivine. Booger Boy. Oh, a Carnivine shiny's good. Uh, I, uh... Oh. Two shinies? I don't think I remember how to play this game. <laughs> oh. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. You can sticky it or something. Oh yeah, sticky glob it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Some minor skill issues here, but we're gonna ignore that. Uh, shiny Carnivine! Owned. Unfortunately, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of this shiny because, uh... Huh? Yeah, sorry Toast, this is this one is just not it. Anyway, I've now got two shinies that I... Hold up, it's Toast here. Let me explain why Carnivine actually is a great shiny. So if you look at his leaves, um, he actually has a nice autumn tint into it. It changes from his normal green. It's a great distinction, you can easily tell the difference. Not only that, but... Why do I keep inviting that guy? Two shinies in under an hour. In a 2v1 race, I'm I'm feeling hot. It's a good day so far, and my confidence is only going up at this point. But the question is, does that trend continue? Well, I'll give you a little spoiler. This video does not have a happy ending. So, just warning you now. The Cobalt Coastlands, one of my favorite areas that I will never not think of the Wind Waker when I'm surfing around, and in my opinion, the area with the best route of alpha Pokemon possibilities. If you're a longtime subscriber, you might remember the last time I hunted here, it took me nearly two days to find a single normal shiny Pokemon, and the fact that I still didn't have an alpha shiny in this challenge was starting to creep up and worry me just a bit. In theory, I could find five regular shinies before Toast and Mimic even found one, but if I don't find the shiny alpha, it's literally impossible to win this race. And with massive mass outbreaks allowing heavily boosted odds for alpha shinies, Toast and Mimic's advantage started seeming really, really strong. Maybe too strong. And just as I was realizing I didn't have as much of a lead as I thought... I got a shiny! I got a shiny! Oh no my way. god! No, wait! Yay. No! Yeah. Yeah. Oh ah. my god, I heard the noise! Oh my god. What is oh it? my god. What is it? Guys, I see him. It's a Geo dude. Yellow oh. boy. <laughs> how do I save? Oh crap, how do I save? A shiny Geo dude for Toast. Congrats, but I'm not happy about it. It's two to one now, and I still had the lead, but after seeing how strong Toast and Mimic's positions were, I needed to make something happen. And this was my plan. I start here at the Molten Arena, where you can fly around this lava and check the Alpha Nine Tails. Then I'd make my way over to the edge of the ocean and check the Alpha Tentacruel, followed by a mile-long surf through the Alpha Luminion, Alpha Gastrodon, and Alpha Quillfish. All the while, I'd be running by a lot of regular Pokemon spawns and eventually reaching the beach, where you can find one of my favorite Alpha spawns, the Alpha Empoli- Ooh! What? Oh what? my- I am- You're joking. You're joking. It's an Alpha, isn't it? Dude. You, there is no way you guys will guess what I just got. My heart just dropped out of my chest. I did not even realize. I'm sending you guys a screenshot. I'm sending you guys a screenshot. Oh my gosh. I have... What can make you react like that? <gasps> <gasps> no. <gasps> Wait, that is so cool. Dude. <laughs> How do I save? We lost Mimic. It's impossible oh, to you win. You guys oh so God. lost. I what the heck? Guys, I cannot express to you how much my heart dropped seeing this shiny. This was 20 minutes after my Carnivine, a completely random static shiny Alpha Empoleon. Woo! It is now three to one, and Alpha Shiny already checked off the list, and my confidence was blown through the roof. Because at this point I was thinking, how can I really lose? Well, if I could go back in time and remind myself that the race isn't over until it's over, I would. Coronet Highlands, the mountainous region that is home to a lot of Pokemon and Alpha spawns, and if you're shiny Alpha hunting, this is probably the place to do it. I was still riding the high of my shiny Alpha Empoleon, and at this point, I'm gonna be real, I was feeling a little bad for Mimic and Toast. As much as I wanted to win, I didn't really just want to crush them in the race and then upload a video just destroying them and them spend a ton of hours for almost nothing, so I decided in this region to slow it down, cruise around, take my time, and 
enjoy the scenery, you know? I'm, I could relax. I didn't need to find another shiny that fast. <gasps> well, no, no. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see a gold board. No! Look at him. No! Mimic, catch something, please. It's not my fault, it's orangey. Guys, I'm gonna be real here. I have no clue what's going on. It feels like I'm cheating. This is my fourth shiny and it took me like two minutes. <laughs> I had just started streaming in Discord to one of our other non-shiny hunter friends and he was just as confused as we were. I'm pretty sure you just, you like just flew into here. Like yeah. you were just in a loading zone. Yes. And he's debagging. That is insane. <laughs> Mimic, Toast, I swear I am not trying to own you this hard. I, I can't help it. Something changes when I press the record button. I don't know what it is. It's four to one. And we're already moving in to the final region. But wait, final region? I mean, surely the video should almost be over. Why is there still a lot of time left? I don't want to show the next part. I hate this part. The Alabaster Icelands. Oh boy, here we are. The final region of the challenge, all in just a few hours. This is absolutely a new record for me, by the way, in area locked challenges. I was so far ahead that, well, I, I'm gonna be honest, I did something that I regret. I went for another shiny alpha. I didn't need to, but I wanted to win with a bang. I had the lead, so why not take advantage? You know, how cool would that be? So I used the soft reset method, a method known to be very slow for shinies in general, but great for a singular alpha. Something that is just about the last thing you should be doing in a shiny race. But come on, my luck has been insane. Surely this video ends with this alpha Garchomp popping up and sparkling with its beautiful, barely blue changing colors. Um, well, if there's one thing I've learned over the years, it's that shiny luck gives and shiny luck takes. Because as soon as I got comfy, it started. Right there. So that would be really cool. Uh, I heard shiny sound. I swear to God. Oh. What? what? Okay, good I luck. Just, I just heard it. I, I didn't see it at all. Wait, it's a Paris. Wow, if I didn't have noise, I wouldn't have, would not have seen this. Wait, I don't know which one's shiny. There's two of them chasing me right now. <laughs> Toast stumbles upon a shiny Paris, and while well, being stuck in the Crimson Mirelands this whole time compared to me, I think he's gonna have to do a bit better than that if he wants to. Oh, I heard shiny. I, I actually heard it this time. No oh way. my god. Oh, it's a Fusil. Oh, oh no, it's not. It's a Floatzel. All right, well played, Toast. I see you're taking matters into your own hands here with that so-called shiny Buzel you found there. Gotta give you props for that one. But when you boil it down logically, I still have an entire region lead on you and there really is no way you- Oh, I heard another shiny sound. No, no. Seriously? Bro. Uh -oh. Yes. Okay, I'm leaning forward. <laughs> uh. Is it alpha? Wait, I don't know where it is. He lost it, we're good. Lean it back. Oh, I heard it again. Okay, leaning forward. Oh. This is really how we're gonna do it, huh? Did I deserve this? Yes, I did, let's, let's be honest, I did. So Toast, over the course of, oh, 30 minutes, found every single one of the shinies he needed to reach the final area. Three shinies back to back to back. And not a single one of those was even from an outbreak. No shiny charm, those were raw, full odds, god mode luck shinies. And here I am just resetting on one Garchomp like an idiot. Mimic, on the other hand, well, how have you not found a shiny yet? I don't know. I'll bring us back. I need you now more than ever. Shiny in this tree, let's see. No. Oh, man, this friggin' sucks. I haven't done anything. Why is Charm fighting me again? <laughs> She's trying her best. So yes, I stopped hunting the Garchomp. A little too late, but I stopped. I was now in full panic mode trying to find as many regular Pokemon spawns as possible. I just oh. needed to finish. But the fact that Mimic had gone all this time without a shiny was actually starting to make me nervous. When she gets lucky, I've seen her get really lucky. It was neck and neck at this point, and I genuinely did not know what to expect until finally, after hours of silence, one of us heard this. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. No, he's giggling. I got a monkey. I have so many of these guys, but I'll take another for the win. <laughs> Team Solo Shiny Charm wins it all. It's OP. And I was happy to finish without throwing my entire lead, but despite winning and catching one of my favorite shiny alpha Pokemon in the whole game, there was this aura in the air of disappointment. The whole entire challenge, I could tell Mimic really wanted to get something. 
Even just one shiny, just to put a point on the board or maybe come in clutch at the end like she's done before. I knew she was happy for me and Toast and all the shinies we found, but I don't know, she spent all her time for us in this race and is leaving with nothing to show for it. It just kind of sucked, but I'm not sure any of us were prepared in this moment for what happened only a few minutes after the challenge ended. <gasps> I heard one, I heard a shiny. So, really? Yeah. Finally! Oh, oh my, my god! god. You finally yeah. got it's one! It's real! What, what is it? A Curlia! That's She's good! Exactly right. That's Curlia. super cool! Oh my god! I'm not useless! You're the anchor we needed all along. Wait. Wait. She's gone. Oh. Did you huh? save? I tried. I don't even remember how to save. I tried to save and I accidentally opened up the map and then I clicked something else and I threw a Pokemon at her and then I got into battle with her and then I looked away for one second and then the battle was over and she's nowhere to be found. Oh. What? Okay, now you're actually making me sad. Uh, yeah, you sound broken as hell. Like, this, this has me f***ed up. <laughs> oh, what? Can you, could you, could you guys just like laugh about it or Wait, something? Wait, is, is it actually gone? <laughs> Yo, just cut the video whenever she finds it, bro. <laughs> It was actually gone, and unfortunately, that was how our race ended. Maybe one day, Mimic can reclaim her lost Curlia, but as I know all too well, it just doesn't ever fill the void of the shiny Pokemon you lost that day. 